Hey you guys, welcome aboard Crab Central Station. My name is Darcy and in this video we're going to talk about all the potential reasons that your new hermit crab may have buried under the substrate and you haven't seen him for several days. Maybe you're wondering if he's alive and what you should do. This video will answer all those questions. Let's get started! Okay, you guys, before we get into this video, please do not dig up your hermit crab. Please do not dig up your hermit crab. I know you're worried about them and you want to do the best, but digging them up can really cause a lot of harm, even death, and we don't want that. So we're going to give you all the reasons in this video that your hermit crab might be burying, which hopefully will make you feel a little more comfortable about what's going on. So there are four main reasons why your hermit crab likes to dig under the substrate. Let's break it down. The first reason, especially if this is a brand new crab to you, it's probably because he's really stressed out. I know we've said this in other videos, you guys, but the wild caught hermit crab industry is brutal. And these poor crabs go through horrible, horrible conditions before they get to you at your house. So if they've dug under right away, it's probably because they need to de-stress. They're trying to just get used to their new environment and overcome what they've been through. In that case, of course, you wanna just leave them be because they need to have that time to get comfortable in their new surroundings. Probably they won't stay down very long um, and potentially they could be coming up at night. They're nocturnal animals and so while you're sleeping they're up eating and drinking. You might not ever see it but that could be what's happening and then they might dig down again during the day for safety while they de-stress. A good thing that you could try out if you want to see if your hermit crab's coming up at night is to gently smooth out the sand or the substrate at the surface so it's nice and smooth and then if they're coming up at night to eat and drink they'll make little claw marks in the sand where they have been walking and so then you can be sure that they are actually eating and drinking and then de just de-stressing during the day under the substrate. The second reason that your brand new hermit crab might be burying in the substrate is if the tank conditions aren't quite right. Hermit crabs are tropical animals and they have pretty specific care requirements as far as heat and humidity are concerned. So if your tank is too cold or too hot, or the humidity is too low or too high, your hermit crab is gonna bury in the substrate just out of instinct. So check out in this iCard, our video that tells you all about heat and humidity and how to get the correct conditions in your tank so that your hermit crab can thrive. The third reason that your hermit crab might be digging under the substrate is that he's actually going to molt. And molting is how hermit crabs grow. It's the only way that they can grow. So if they have dug down for a molt, it's really important that you don't dig for them and you don't go around searching for them. Chances are you're not gonna see your hermit crab for a pretty long time if they are molting. Small hermit crabs can take anywhere from a little over a week up to a month. Medium hermit crabs are gonna take longer, maybe two months and large to extra large hermit crabs can take anywhere from one month to a year to actually complete their molt. I know it's kind of worrisome, like they're not eating or drinking and you're a little bit worried about how they're gonna survive the molt, but trust the process. This is what crabs do, even in nature. So they have a really cool thing called a molt sack and leading up to their molt, they go and eat a whole bunch and they spend a good amount of time in the water absorbing all of that hydration and they store it in their molt sack, which actually helps them to survive the molt process. They also, as they shed their old exoskeleton, will eat it under the sub and that old exoskeleton has a lot of chitin in it, which helps their new exoskeleton harden. So they also have that for nutrients. Now, a lot of times we wonder how long should we wait? I mean, is my hermit crab dead? How do I know? <sighs> Good question. So 
If your substrate is deep, which should be three times the depth of your largest hermit crab or about six inches minimum, chances are you're not going to smell your hermit crab if it dies under the substrate. In fact, that's one of the reasons we actually suggest having deep substrate is because when hermit crabs molt, they release a scent that other crabs kind of smells delicious to. And so deep substrate kind of hides that smell and keeps your hermit crab safe from the other crabs in your tank, which also means if he happens to not survive his molt and pass away, you probably won't smell it. However, if you do open your tank to do maintenance and there is a obvious smell of dead fish, there's no mistaking it, then you can be assured that your hermit crab hasn't made it and has probably passed on. The fourth reason that your hermit crab might be digging in the substrate is, well, he's just being a crab. And crabs like to dig and tunnel. That's just kind of what they do. So you could try to add a few things in your tank to make him feel safe. Perhaps when he's coming up, he feels like there's too much open space and he's too much of a target. These are prey animals. And so they like to feel like they have a place to hide and cover when they are out in the open. So go ahead and add some uh, plants or a cork round or some sort of little hide, coconut hide or something like that. And I would even place them in and out all over your tank. So not all in one corner or not all along the back. Maybe try to put some up in the front of the glass and some in the middle of your tank. And that way, no matter where your hermit crab is in the tank, they feel like they have a quick place that they can dash behind and hide under or hide, hide behind. Um, and that will make them feel safe. But ultimately they're going to dig and tunnel because they like to do that. So that could be one of the reasons that they're under the substrate. All right. So just to recap, there are four main reasons that your hermit crab might be digging under the sub and spending some time underneath the sub. And that could be one de-stressing, especially if he's brand new. Two could be that your tank conditions aren't quite right. Three, they could be preparing or having a molt and growing or four, maybe they're just digging because they're a crab. In any of those cases, you'll want to continue to replace the water regularly and the foods that they always have, the nutrients and hydration that they need, not just to survive, but thrive and live long, happy years with you. And finally, guys, we just want to say, don't dig up your hermit crab. Don't go searching for them in the sub. They're crabs. It's what they do. They have instincts. So trust the process. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. Click the bell so you're notified when we drop new content. Follow us on our social medias. And until next time, you guys, happy crabbing. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.